So it's June 4th, and here at Cricket Hill Garden, our intersectional peonies are in full bloom. Intersectional peonies are hybrids between tree and herbaceous peonies. This was first done in the 1960s by a Japanese nurseryman named Tochi Ito. So in the trade, these hybrids are also known as Ito peonies. They share um, characteristics of both their tree peony parentage as well as their herbaceous. They have finely cut leaves and semi-double to slightly double flowers, like a tree peony. However, they have a green herbaceous stem which dies back in the fall. We cut them back. They die back as well, though. Um, they have a number of very excellent characteristics. Uh, perhaps most notable, the yellow blossoms, uh, pastels, some very nice um, rarer colors in peonies. They are very disease resistant. We never have problems with botrytis on any of our intersectional peonies. And they bloom after the tree peonies and a little bit before some of the herbaceous peonies. So they extend your peony season. So we're just gonna take a quick look at some of our favorite varieties here. This one is Garden Treasure. Very nice, developed by Rod, developed by Don Hollingsworth in Missouri. It has a nice low-growing habit, um, particularly notable because the blossoms don't all open at once. You'll see these are, this is fully open, but these buds are still quite tight. So this plant will bloom over a period of about two weeks. Really spectacular landscape plant. Next we have First Arrival, this beautiful lilac hybridized by Roger Anderson in Wisconsin. Roger has done some of the most outstanding intersectional hybrids. This is another Roger Anderson intersectional, Court Jester, uh, notable for the way the petals are um, spaced out quite a bit. It's uh, interesting. You don't often see flowers like that. You can see intersectional hybrids um, grow to about three feet, three and a half, four feet tall. Um, these are definitely mature plants, haven't been divided in over 10 years. This cultivar is Cali's Memory. Beautiful um, kind of parchment yellow suffused with red. You can see we have our intersectional peonies planted in the full sun here. That's important. Um, they really don't uh, grow very vigorously in a shadier area. Also, well-drained soil, very important. This is morning lilac, another Roger Anderson hybrid. Now this one here is a bit of an oddity. It was done by a friend of ours uh, named Frank Simone, who um, was doing some of these uh, hybrids. Um, he didn't think it was much of a flower, um, but we, uh, we kind of like it. We call it our pink dragon claw. And uh, certainly the flower isn't for everyone, but some visitors have really admired it. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a vigorous grower. Um, Another very nice Roger Anderson intersectional. This is Cora Louise. And finally, we come to the famous Bardzella. This is a really spectacular yellow intersectional peony. Perhaps the best. I, it's hard to say what, which is the best, but this has just so many excellent characteristics. You can see massive flowers. This one's probably about nine inches. Erect habit. Really long stems. Great for cut flowers. Um, beautiful matte green foliage, which looks great all throughout the summer. This plant, um, when it was first on the market in the uh, late 80s or early 90s, selling for $1,000 a division. 
Now the price has come down to about $100 for a decent division. So, you know, it's still expensive, but all things considered, you could say it's quite a bargain.